Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, this line segment uh, CP is a perpendicular bisector of another chord AB as you can see in this uh, diagram and moreover the length for this uh, CP is uh, 4 units whereas the length of this chord AB is uh, 16 units and furthermore O is the center of this uh, blue circle. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this video, I'll share with you two different uh, approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And now let me go ahead and share with you the very first uh, method. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, this center O with these uh, points P and uh, B as you can see in this uh, next diagram. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if uh, one chord is a perpendicular bisector of another chord, then the first chord is the radius uh, of the circle. Then in our case, uh, this uh, CO is going to be the radius uh, of this uh, circle and moreover this angle uh, OPB is going to be 90 degrees. Now we know that this uh, side length AP equal to this side length uh, BP and this whole length is uh, 16 so therefore this side length is going to be 8 and this side length uh, PB is going to be 8 units as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BPO. And now we know that this OB is the radius uh, of this blue circle. Let me go ahead and label this uh, radius by lowercase uh, r. And now we know that this uh, whole uh, OC is the radius of this blue circle. So that means this is uh, radius r. And we know that this uh, length uh, CP is uh, 4 units. So therefore uh, this uh, length uh, OP is going to be simply lowercase r minus uh, 4. Now we can see in this uh, right uh, triangle uh, BPO our side lengths are uh, r 8 and uh, r minus 4. And now we are going to solve for r value. Therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side uh, a and this side uh, our b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. In our case, a is uh, 8. So this is going to become uh, 8 square plus b in our case is uh, r minus uh, for whole square equal to r square on the right hand side and now let's go ahead and simplify 8 square is going to give us uh, 64 plus uh, now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this uh, binomial so therefore this is going to become uh, r square minus uh, 8r plus 16 equals to r square on the right hand side and now we can see r square on this side and r square on this side they are gone. Let's combine the like terms 64 plus 16 is going to give us 80 minus 8r equal to 0. Let's move this negative 8r on the other side so we are going to get 8r equals to 80. Let's divide both sides by 8 to isolate uh, radius r. So therefore our radius r turns out to be simply 10 units. So thus the radius r turns out to be 10 units uh, for this blue circle. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square in our case our radius r is 10 therefore the area of this blue shaded circle is going to be 
pi times r in our case is 10 whole square so this turns out to be 100 pi so thus the area of this blue shaded circle turns out to be 100 pi square units and which is approximately equal to 314.16 square units and now i'm going to share with you the second method and here's our next step we have connected this point p with this uh, d point uh, as you can see in this uh, diagram and since uh, this is a perpendicular uh, bisector so therefore this is going to pass through this uh, o now we can see that uh, this uh, o c and this uh, o d they are the radius uh, of this uh, circle so if I call this uh, lowercase r and this is a lowercase r then this uh, cd is going to be the diameter so that is going to be 2r now we know that this uh, length uh, is 4 units so therefore this length uh, pd is going to be 2r minus 4 so I can write uh, 2r minus uh, Four. and now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem according to this theorem if two chords uh, intersect in a circle uh, then the product of the measures uh, of the segments of the chords are equal as you can see in this uh, diagram here we can see the product of these uh, segments a times b equal to c times d as you can see in this uh, equation therefore I'm going to represent this segment as an a this segment B, this segment C, and this segment as D. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. A in our case is 8, B is 8 as well, C in our case is 4 times D is 2R minus 4. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. This is going to give us 64 equals to Let's go ahead and distribute this thing that is going to give us 8r minus 16. Let's add 16 on both sides. We can see that this is gone. So therefore 8r turns out to be 80. Let's divide both sides by 8. So therefore our radius r turns out to be 10 units. So thus the area of this blue shaded circle turns out to be 100 pi square units or that's approximately equal to 314.16 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.